today we are here at picturesque split rock dam we're hoping to catch a few yellow belly today let's get into it right so both nearly all set up just gotta get these straps off need to get the esky the bag and slinky in there oh yeah and don't forget the rods since no one's fishing around here and the water's still a bit cool it's starting to warm up which is nice what I'm doing is I'm just cruising along with the side scanning and the down imaging. Just going over the big thistle bed, or a weed bed, but it's mostly dead thistles. Just, um, I spotted not a bad school not too far back there. But, um, water's still a bit cool. I just want to cruise along and just find some spots that we can hit later. Good bit of advice here is we're just spot hopping essentially. We want to well first we need to find that warmer water then we need to find good conjugations of fish we've got a super high barometer today the weather is beautiful the water is, is warming up nope. <laughs> what nope. <laughs> scratch that and now fish there just stalled out a little bit <laughs> Oh good. <laughs> that, that's an old two stroke. Alright, so we're just resetting. I'm actually gonna hold the rod this time. It's handy when you get a snag, you can just do that and shad wraps float, so. Just come in there. There's a carfish down there. Yep, I'm on. Oh, guys. Just as I went over that hump. It's not a bad. It's got some weight on there. I don't know what this is, it's got some weight. That was crazy to get the net ready. That just belted that. I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna keep that drag steady. The nice thing with yellows is they don't go that hard. There's a little cod. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got him. Hook just popped out of him. Oh, oh man. That hook just popped out. I started to go with barbless hooks and well they're easier to get out. Woo! Get there. So shad wrap did the job. Oh, it's been so long since I've pulled a cod out of splitty. I gotta show you guys this. Beautiful fish. Such good condition. Look how fat he is. Oh man, that's my biggest cod out of here so far. I'm gonna get a quick photo. About 53. It's not a bad fish. So beautiful. Back you go, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he's ready. <laughs> so good. And we're just coming over a hump and then he smashed it. Oh, it's not a yell, but that, that's awesome. So, quick little tip here, guys. Breeding season for Murray Cod is from the 1st of September to the 1st of December for New South Wales. So in springtime, intentionally catching or targeting Murray Cod in the springtime, which is their breeding season, is a big no-no. You accidentally catch one like I did, put them back as quick as you can. It's time to get back to the job. In the next few hours, I did indeed 
find some nice water that was above 18 degrees up in the shallows and start finding consistent schools of fish most like a yellow belly but unfortunately I couldn't get any of them to really commit but that was okay so after a good few hours of trying I then decided to pack up and head home for the day and decided to get some footage of this boat driving at full power at last now that the motor has been fixed hope you guys enjoyed this little modified outro you may feel this way.